All right. Today was a fun day of the Milwaukee Mighty Milwaukee Mighty Con, Milwaukee Comic Con at the fairgrounds. So we went there, spent my allowance for the next three years probably. But after we went there, <laughs> the wife wanted to stop at Half Price Books, which is close by. So we went there and I bought some comics at <laughs> Half Price Book. Uh, you're like, well, why would you buy a bunch of comics at Half Price Books when you just came from the Comic Con? Well, I wanted to go through a bunch of boxes at the Comic Con, but this was probably the busiest one they've had in a while. And it just, I was sweating up a storm. And when you're standing there trying to go through boxes and you have people on both sides of you going through boxes, it can just get claustrophobic and you want to kind of rush your way through things and can't just enjoy going through the box slowly. So I just bought stuff from tables and kind of stayed away from the boxes today until I got to half price books with the wife and she's wandering around looking at books and stuff. So I got to kill some time. So I go sit in the comic book section, just go through all the ones they had, but I was Give you a glimpse of what I picked up there. They had Green Lantern number one and three through seven on the first volume of the DC Universe run. And I figured, what the heck? I went through and I think I found the right number two. Got the Beware My Power thing, but the only downfall, or the number one I got. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'll have to look through these. I thought I found number two, but I guess I got number one. But I grabbed number one because the number one they have in here is the annual. So I'm like, well, I got to get a different number one then. So now I got to see what's up because I could have swore I had the right number two. Put that aside, and I might have left it there, but we'll see. See if it's in my little stack here. But they had a Badger comic, 50 cents. It's one I don't recognize the cover, and I'm trying to get all these, and it is number 56. I know the ones I have are from the beginning of the run. So I figured, what the heck, pick it up. I haven't read any of them yet. I hope I like the character, but I uh, believe it was Mike Barron that I listened to in a, one of the podcasts. I think it was... One of the Word Balloon podcasts with John Suntress. He talks to so many people that I think that's where I heard him talking about it. Just whenever I see those, I like to pick them up. Uh, I have, I thought, all of Just Imag Stan Lee's Just Imagine books. But I don't remember this cover for a Green Lantern one. So I figured what the heck, I'd pick that up. All these were a couple bucks to a buck. Then West Coast Avengers, it looks like this one has Gwenpool in it on, on the character back sheet. And I didn't know if she was from or known that far back. So now I really want to know if that's her. So I figure what the heck. And I'm trying to get all these West Coast Avengers collection put together after finding out the origin of Squirrel Girl being there and I got those comics and I really enjoyed them. So I want to check out some more West Coast Avenger comics. Uh, I seen this Hulk cover and it's a variant cover. I'm sure it probably has nothing to do with the story. I hope these characters are in the story, but I love the Red Hulk. I don't know who this Wolverine-ish shark is character is but that's the one that caught my eye the most on the cover so i figured what the heck i gotta get that check it out see if they're in there or not but I'll, it'll be fun still oh, yeah there we go i do have green lantern number two beware my power so hopefully that's the right one for that run i've been collecting been Oh, the Aaron Strips comics. Because 
because one of my nephews is named Aaron. I figured after I read him, I can give it to him. But found another one I didn't have. Uh, drive through, drive through girls are cap are a captive audience. Going off his guns at the drive through, and then they had this Adventures of Aaron number one hundred. So I figured, what the heck, pick that up for a buck. Dracula Chronicles, I think, think I have all three, but they might be sealed in some type of bag with something covering them, because I do not recognize this cover for a buck, what the heck. Uh, and then we had this Harvey Classics, Hanna-Barbera Presents Scooby-Doo, number one, in halfway decent condition, for a buck. So I'm like, yeah, Scooby Dooby Doo. You got, I'll take you. And they also had Hanna Barbera Presents Scooby Doo Big Book, number one. So by Harvey Comics. I figure what the heck, I'm going to grab that one. And then this one, I just like the cover. It's a pre comic book day book. Looks older, so it's got to be from. The earlier days of free comic book day, but got this goofy character holding a cat, and he's got a stuffed cat next to him. It says, "Hi, I'm Gronk. You like kitties? Like as pets, not not to eat. I'm not that kind of monster." <laughs> I thought it was cute. I figured I'd check it out. Then the last one I picked up. This one was my big spender. Big spender, six dollars, but a Peter's. Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man with Morbius. It looks like it's a contained story, hopefully. Not part one of three or anything like that. But Mayhem is the man called Morbius. And I like that cover. It's an older P Peter Parker comic. So, figure six bucks. I don't mind spending that on something. Older that is in as good a condition as this is, so I was actually surprised they had it for only six bucks. But yes, then let's get to the mighty con goodies. <laughs> One of the main things we went there for this year was because Jeff Bulky, Jeff Bulky Studios, was going to be there. A little Stuart sticker that he gave the wife. So, figure what the heck. You gotta go see him since we became friends on uh, podcast and Facebook and all that. And been following all his, his works. And he's been putting out a ton of fun new things lately. I was surprised how many things he had that I haven't seen. So, that was awesome. Uh, the first. Items I'm going to show you since it's in their bag. It's obviously from Ruby Art. Might be able to scan the thing if you want to try and scan it. Check out their site. Rubyart.ca. It's going to be interesting trying to find places to put everything right now until I can get it put away. But yeah, they had some really fun artwork. They had metal ones, but I wanted to get these some of these prints in metal. But like I said, I overspent my allowance <laughs> to go for the cheaper version of the prints. But my wife, I let her pick out a few, and then I got a couple that I wanted. She got. Asian cat picture with a fat cat. Just all kinds of fun. Just great prints. Really, I mean, nice little area here for me to put everything. Uh, of course, they had a Nightmare Before Christmas one. So I had to get that one. Zero on it. I'm not 
as I look at these, I think I might have to get a bigger book for my for these prints. Another <coughs> samurai cat <laughs> eating sushi. I'm uh, uh, curious if these will stay in my collection <laughs> or if they will be given to certain nieces that like this stuff. But we will see. And they had a sloth drinking coffee. And if you know our latest obsession with sloth stuff. It's like <laughs> more and more stuff that's sloth related. And the final one that I picked out was a samurai. I can't think of the correct word for this right now. But samurai mask with swords just I got kabuki in my head. I don't think that's right. Yeah, they had some wonderful stuff. <clears throat> I'll put all the stuff in the show notes for people because a lot of the uh, art cards and stuff that we got has uh, you can order commissions on. So if you want something drawn by these artists, you can get that done if you look them up. Uh, I picked up, and this is going to be mixed up, so I'll be going back and forth between the people because I guess I can, I'm just going one bag at a time, and whatever's in there is what I get, but I know you'll, I have prints in one bag, but I got prints and books and other stuff from people, the other stuff's another bag, so you'll see stuff from people randomly, uh, two or three times, uh, this one, I got, I ran into Tyree from, uh, it's going to be a problem. My brain's not going to come up with all this stuff. Uh, local comic artist writer that did uh, Fair Fight comics and a few other ones that I reviewed that he did in the past that I really enjoyed. That I found out that he's doing a second one to one of the books that or one of my favorite ones that he did. So I was super happy to hear that. And then he threw in a print after I bought a couple of comics from him. I picked out this one. I like the whole Street Fighter, and that's his character from Fair Fight in there. And I think that's Batty from Fair Fight, too. Yeah. But, yeah Street Fighter. Form of characters. I'm like, yep, yeah, gotta get that. Pick that one up. So that was awesome. And I'll probably say awesome a lot because it's an awesome day. <laughs> we got a lot of fun stuff today. So, one sealed up. One was a bundle. Bought their comic and did a bundle with everything in it. First, I had to do that. So I tried the plastic though. Alright. Put that aside. Get it out of the way. I seen this character and he did a cut he's did the comic for it. And here's another board if you want to scan it. But and I seen the character name. I'm like, I don't even need to know what this comic's about. It's gonna be goofy and fun, so I gotta get it. It's Burrito Supreme. They could almost call it Burrito Supremo. <laughs> yeah, Burrito Supreme looked like a fun character, and usually stuff like that's always good and goofy. I didn't realize what I was all getting from. <laughs> <sighs> what well, was all thrown into the set but we got Rio Supreme superhero card uh, 
Breeders Cream Superhero Sticker. Uh, Dr. DeFrost. Evil Villain card. Another Breed of Supreme sticker. And another one. Picture eyes good because my wife's into making those books where she puts all the stickers in now. So. And then I got this. What are those books called? Chunk journals. Chunk journals. <laughs> I can never remember. There's another cute picture of Rito Supremo character. <laughs> I'm changing his name. Rito Supremo. <laughs> Rito Supreme character. And this is a cool little collage. Kind of like a... Kind of some type of deep fried cheese stick character. And our Rito Supreme character with the old 66 Batman. A little action word. Balloons out there. So that was cool. That was, I didn't even know what I was getting. And it also comes with other comic and stuff. So we'll see that later on. But yeah, I didn't know I was getting that much stuff from. That was definitely worth it. And then we've seen this <laughs> print by some great guys that were actually working on some commission stuff while you're we sitting there. And I'm definitely going to get some work done by them because of that. Them if they're into things I want to get done and sure as shit they are. Like they threw in a sticker. Everybody likes their stickers. <laughs> really. <laughs> that works. The downfall is I got so many cool stickers. I gotta get them put in one place. That's this little group. Mario crossover. <laughs> Love how Groot's carrying the little the evil Mario plant. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so the plant tries to eat Groot. Groot will get mad and then he'll, he'll take care of it. Cool. And then this one. We got some Ghoul Scout comics we'll be talking about later. Awesome. But they had other stuff for sale too with it. And of course, the way we are, we get sucked into it. We have to get a few things. Uh oh. I think I lost something. Oh well. You'll get the idea. Came with two pins, pin backs. It came along with it. It says, Ghoul Scout Merit Badge, number two. The Werewolf. Okay, that's what it was. was what merit badges they gave us. The other one on my table? No. It did appear. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, wife seen this little card that he drew up. So we got that one. A little Nosferatu. I'll find later. It's no big. <laughs> and they had free coloring pages, which I totally forgot that I grabbed this because I was going to give it to Jeff, Jeff Mulkey and let him color because he was doing $5 colorings. Today, if you had any black and white covers, comic book covers or anything like that, and I couldn't find a couple of my black and white covers before I went to the show, so... I just seen this, and I was going to have him do it, but it's just a little Girl Scouts coloring page. They're giving out for free. Or Ghoul Scouts. I said Girl Scouts. <laughs> so I grabbed that. And this, I'm glad we got to in time, because apparently it was the last one he had. <laughs> he sold some already today. We got Spingooly choking the chicken. Original print. So that was awesome. And yeah, we've been getting some really fun spingooly stuff. I'm gonna have to start a little spingooly area pretty soon. You can set it up for me at the shop on the show in my little corner when I'm brought onto the show to be the spawn of spingooly. 
as you know, I've been collecting lunch boxes <laughs> lately. These new tins, they're called, but lunch boxes. But I seen they had a mankind one, <clears throat> and it's got some fun mankind pictures around. It almost looks like it would have came with a mankind pop at one point, but it was only ten bucks, and. It comes with a bonus. Oh. More bonuses. <laughs> I thought it only came with one thing. Okay, this is really awesome for 10 bucks. We got a Mankind pin. Pin back. This one I got to open, of course. Is a mankind lanyard pass. That's cool. Got the lanyard, got a mankind Funko pass, all that in here. And then you only get one, so you ain't gonna wear them on your feet. <laughs> we got a Mr. Sacco. <laughs> so that makes me super happy. I have to open that up. Yeah, for 10 bucks, so I got half a pair of a socks. <laughs> Some cool pins. <clears throat> and hello, boys and girls, it's Mr. Sacco! <laughs> That's cool. I can shove that in the wife's mouth when she's annoying me. <laughs> Shut her up. <laughs> but yeah. The lady did open it and showed me that there's a Mr. Sacco in there, but didn't show me the other stuff, so that is super cool. Bonus. All right. One bag down. Let's see what the next one has to offer. Yeah, we'll, you'll see a lot of these comics again later because... Uh, we'll be doing reviews on them, of course. I know I have the first issue of this run, but they had all six of Dark Ages, and for six bucks, a buck a piece, I couldn't pass them up. Like, I wanted to read this run anyways. So now I can finish it off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only cover I recognize is the first one, so I'm pretty sure that's the only one I got. That's some different style covers that I don't know about. Uh, and then this one I wanted to get because of the first cover. I just like the characters on it. I'm like, well, I got to find out more about these characters and see if it's... Worth checking out, but I never did pull the trigger and get it. But for five bucks, I got the new Fantastic Four, number one through five. I am looking forward to reading that. Probably read that one pretty soon here. I'm catching my interest. You know, reprint of the of it starting in the new catalog or one of the newer catalogs. I want to see it on table for a buck a piece. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Get a complete run. Fun. <clears throat> I've been obsessed with Frankenstein the past year, two years. I don't know why. I always liked the character, but I didn't realize how much different stuff and different variety there was out there. And in the past two years, they've been coming up with some really fun alternate stories to go with Frankenstein and everything. I've seen this Frankenstein from a local comic artist and writer. And yeah, I got to check it out. So we picked it up. We will be talking about it. We'll be doing a special review for that one. And then... Looks like we're getting to some more art now. 
I'm not sure where all these came from, so we're just going to have to put all the stuff in the show notes. You're going to have to look up everybody and check out everybody's stuff, see what you can find, and see what you like. With the wife, of course. Got a bat, and it's got some purple in there. Purple and black. It's like blue and black on my video screen, but it's purple. But that, so she picked that one up. And I don't know why this. I don't know what this is for. But it's an empty comic book sleeve. Bonus! <laughs> it's probably one that he pulled out and signed. I just didn't put it back in there. I'm guessing. This person had uh, these little prints for a couple bucks. So we grabbed a few. A nice They Live one there. Let's say They Live, We Sleep. So it's you got the three main characters right there. So that's just awesome picture of that screen. Screen shot. This is sweet. A little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I didn't even realize they was signing so far. That one was signed when we bought it. That's why it is actually signed by Donatello. <laughs> so that plays Donatello. <laughs> I can't try and guess his name perfectly. My wife's obsessed with Rob Zombie, so she got I she got the best character ever. Captain Spaulding. Rest in peace. Wonderful <laughs> gentleman. Awesome actor. Just hilarious <laughs> character in the show. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a certificate of authenticity. This it's a Okay, it's a fan art. These are fan art prints. And then, I wonder why it's got it. Oh, I guess it does have a signature. It does have a signature, and it's numbered. Who's it signed by? Certificate of Authenticity. You change your van. Artist and print can be verified. Okay, so it's signed by the artist. Okay. And there I thought I had Captain Spalding's signature, and I was getting all excited. <laughs> Wife is obsessed with barbarian stuff, Viking stuff. So she grabbed that print again, certificate of authenticity. So that's signed somewhere. It looks like all these are numbered and signed. Okay, cool. This didn't see her grab this one. But looks like a Hellboy picture there. And we got a nice little Dracula's castle with Dracula in the background and formed in the clouded clouds in the background. And Ratchet and Clank. Crank Clank. Yeah, Ratchet <laughs> and Clank. That's cool. And that looks like it's signed by a couple different people. Girl. I wonder who that is. This is, uh, I want to say, Sky Fox, or Star Fox, I mean, it's not Sky Fox. I want to say it's a Star Fox char character from Nintendo. I'm not positive, but he definitely looks like it. Uh, cool, I didn't know we got this one, too. So I, I pick a few things. I look at them. I... Get sick of waiting for the wife, and I'm like, okay, you got this under control. I'll keep walking. You'll catch up to me. <laughs> so I don't know what else she picks up. That sweet little firefly one. The whole gang on there. And that's what it's from. Okay, that makes sense. Waxwork picture from the movie. Recognize because I haven't seen it so long. <laughs> I did not see this one either. I'm surprised. I That's awesome that these are all signed and numbered. But Near Dark. Movie I could go for watching again. It's got Bill Paxton that passed away. Lance Hendrickson. Yeah, Lance Catherine is in there Ligable. too. Yeah. Adrian Pazdon. I don't know who that is. Awesome. Who? 
He's who? I said lots of good things. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> a lot of stuff there. Here's our Burrito Supreme comic book. This is, and it just looks so fun. Uh, just, just imagine what it's going to be like. Who is the new Burrito Supreme? <laughs> and then the Ghoul Scout. He had two of his trades. He's got a third one coming out, I believe. But I grabbed both of those. Uh, those are going to be a blast to read. I can't wait to check those out. Oh, they actually look like pretty quick read. So, I'm going to have probably a lot of videos coming out <laughs> in the next couple of weeks. Uh, oh, here's Tyree's comics. I got Fair Fight Volume 2, finally. I know I could have ordered offline, but I just wasn't sure which I was ordering the right ones. If they had multiple ones, because the first volume one had four different books, and I grabbed all four of them. Then he had another book that I didn't see last time, so The Adventures of Human. So looking forward to checking that one out too. And I'm looking forward to checking everything. It's just so much fun. <laughs> Like, basically, don't bug me for the next couple of weeks because I'm going to be partying up, right up with my comic books. Jeff Belke, like I said, was there. And I was always bummed every time I go on his website because Second Storm Kids was out of print, out of print, sold out. But he actually got a bunch more in. So I guess the Second Storm Kids comic. So we will be talking about that soon. Yeah. Wife, a little. Dancing Skeleton sticker. I suppose I should pull out and put with the rest of the stickers. Exciting to watch me do, but I want to take it upstairs to read the comic and have that sticker in it. But yeah. So we'll be talking about that one soon. And then we picked up a few <clears throat> more of his pictures. That he had yeah the dancing skeletons I think this is yeah this is the newest one the new background that he had done yeah myself a bond it's like when I I seen that he had all these that he colored too I'm like oh man <laughs> It's going to be an expensive stop. <laughs> yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. I love how he highlights certain parts when he colors. It's like, this I was bummed about. As far as, I wasn't bummed about this. I was bummed that I, I have a black and white Harley Quinn cover. That's what I really wanted him to color. Because he's doing that special fallback to the day when he started coloring comics and uh, doing five bucks for anything you bring in and he'll highlight certain parts of it and color it not color the whole page make things just pop and he when he first started talking about it he showed a Harley Quinn that he did and I forgot to ask him today if he actually has that physical copy still if I could just buy that but yeah I'll be hitting him up eventually for some color and work but yeah, he had this Harley Quinn, and I could not pass that up. That is beautiful. And if you're going to have Harley Quinn, you got to have Deadpool. And I love how Deadpool <laughs> kind of looks like he destroyed Disneyland. <laughs> got the little Disneyland logo down there. But yeah, <laughs> and pretty much anywhere Harley and Deadpool go, they're going to destroy anyways. The wife loves the little Fang character, so yeah, Fang with the coloring. Crayons in the back, different color labels. Yeah. <laughs> A haunted uh, horror characters. 
the Stanley and his friends dressed up as horror characters. Yeah, it was Michael and Freddy and oh, yeah. Michael, Freddy, Chucky, and uh, what's the name? Of it? Carrie. <laughs> hey. When you go on his website, it's mostly Stanley and his friends. So I didn't realize that he did all these other ones. And it's like, this is Chester, which I've been wanting to get a Chester thing. So I'm like, I got to have something Chester related. And the wife's like, I'm like, she loves Ch the way Chester looks. So I'm like, you just pick out whatever Chester you want. And we'll get that. And there's the other dancing skeleton. The first friend he had with the cat. Is that a cat in a tree or not? That looks like a not looks like an owl in the tree. But yeah. Nancy skeletons are fun. <laughs> yeah. Stanley's wife, I can't think of her name for some reason right off hand. She's vampirella it up. So you gotta pick up a vampirella one. And then this one was probably one of the biggest surprises, but I love how they did Stanley and his friends portraying Ghostbusters. That was just sweet. So, yeah. <laughs> I just, it just surprises me every time I go on his website or see that he's done something new or he's got constantly coming out with more and more fun stuff. All right. Pretty much past the comics and print stuff. And now we're getting into things like Capitalist Curios. Uh, not sure what oddball things we all bought. I see they had a tribute. Nightmare Before Christmas Trivial Pursuit for 10 bucks. I was surprised the wife didn't have it. So I'm like, pick it up, get it. It's just basically cards and dice. And Nice little coffin shaped box. Ten bucks. What the heck? Couldn't pass that up. And these are a lot of things she bought that are little boxes that she bought for gifts and stuff. Asian designs and on them. I know where these are going. And they had little matchbooks. This one's All Hallows Eve. Looks like it's got a little. No, look, it lifted up, but I better not wreck that. I'll get yelled at. <laughs> and she got one with a bat on it. This little matchbox is. Cardboard matchboxes that you can design up. A good idea. She had a gone baddie stick, uh, pin in back. Bunch of stuff in here that's wrapped up. Yeah, uh, one lady that does. Ah, uh, what's it called? Now. Can't think of it. The sewing needle thing. <laughs> but that's. Uh, if the wife was still the Irish, she could help me on these, but I can't think of his name. The little cat character from the cart animated cartoons. They always crack us up when we watch, watch them. That's cool. Bat matchbook. So I'm finding all kinds of business cards in there. Yeah. More espresso, less depresso sticker. to it. A little 
that. Then, I can't even think of what you call it. Uh, come on, brain. You know it. You've done it. Can't think of it. Do not fuck with me. Brain. I love this one. Little Mario mushroom with a ghost. Ghostbuster symbol logo in his hat. That one's staying with me. Life doesn't get that one. <laughs> this one's got a little Mario character, but she bought it because she liked the frame. We got that one. And I got another pin here called Emotional Support Coffee. And this one is, I'm glad they, that we were talking to the people when we did because they had this in a bigger frame and a lot of these frames, I. Uh, I would have been happy with stuff with not being in frames, but then she had this one, which is a nice little fold-up frame. Grow up. Get a life. <laughs> this is a perfect little Mario thing, so that's going to definitely go with my area, too. New shelf. I'll all work out right on it. And here's some more. Of our little, well, he'd be hanging. Clawing at the wall, getting himself in trouble like usual. And then, one more. And cute, begging. Trying to get some treats. That was her. Definitely interesting, good thing the wife was with, because I went to pick them. Anything from there, probably, because I'm not crochet. <laughs> it's just stick with the comics and art stuff. Let her look at everything else and let me know when she finds something cool. But, but yeah, that's it. That was our Comic Con, the way it looks like. I don't see anything else. So, yeah, definitely spent my allowance. So. I have to make up for that. Then we got, you know, give you a rundown of all the business cards. We got cauterized designs. And you can look on their sites to find out more information about all these people. And like I said, I will put a bunch of stuff in the show notes. It's the. Uh, crocheting stuff was, I believe, was. Susie's Stitchables. And I also got her business card there. I got Drop Dead Drawing. I know it's not easy to see some of this stuff, so yeah, it's better for me to. Nicholas Catsby. It'll be just easier for me to punch all the things into the show notes. True Fiction Studios. Artist of Stuff. <laughs> and some of these. There were a few that I didn't buy stuff from because I'm going to order commissions through them later. I just figure let them enjoy their show and I'll hit them up down the road. Yeah, Ronnie Fibers. Jeff Bulky Studios.
should have actually went through all their business cards. I know they got oh, card, plain card style images on the backs, and I know they had at least four different ones. But CG, CJ Standel. And then this one, interesting artwork on the back. Bucky and some other stuff. But this is Nolan Tweedy art. And Necropolis Curios. Those are most, if not all, the people that we bought from or seen at the Milwaukee Mighty Con and yeah we had a blast picked up some awesome stuff and now I gotta put the stuff somewhere <laughs> and then I'll go through it all separately when I do videos as I read their stuff and go over their things and maybe order some other things and we'll see what happens with all that but yeah keep an eye out there's gonna be some fun videos coming up can't wait to read these comics i'll probably read a good 10 comics tonight while watching sphing and stuff like that and So that's it for the day. All the goodies we got. Keep following us. Crimson Bell Comic Club. Which we will. I have a, I'm have. pretty sure we're going to be doing a review of Milwaukee Mighty Con on there also. So you'll probably get to see these things again. And hear us talk about other things. Uh, I got to find out. Which comics other people bought that are from the club and see if we'll do any reviews on those on the Crimson Color Comic Club. But keep an eye out. We got some fun shows coming up, including it. We're going to ha have uh, Troy Dungar on there from Kids Slapshot, it sounds like, in the next couple weeks. And we just had Matt fight a little while back. Hopefully someday I can get Jeff Belke on there and some of these other people from Wisconsin. Some other great artists and writers and colorists. Uh, keep following Under the Call of MS. We got audio podcasts, YouTube, all that. Under the Call, CrimsonCall.com. Got a couple of comic books by some of the guys on there that you can check out and read for free. Uh, other than that, get out to your cons. Check them out. See if you can find something unique. And I, I really like the Milwaukee Mighty Con. How it, and You got your more expensive stuff. But there's a good variety of people that are selling stuff for reasonable prices and I mean, getting original artwork, your prints and stuff for reasonable prices, it's definitely worth doing, worth checking out. And I know Fox 6 News was there this morning. I was hoping they'd still be there when it opened, but they were gone by then. I figured they'd stick around for the costume contest and get some of the cosplayers at least on the news, but... Unless they were coming back later in the day, I did not see them while I was there. Uh, but yeah, it was a good con. Good con, good time of year. And fe middle of February in uh, Wisconsin, it should be below zero. Have a few feet of snow outside, but nope, it was in the 40s today. So couldn't complain, but yeah. So keep an eye out. Lots of good stuff coming. It's going to be a fun one the next month or so. Bye.